What's going on Broncos fans? Back here again to do another video. Just wanted to talk about the Broncos week two win over the Dallas Cowboys. 42 to 17 at home. Dominant win. Moved to 2 and 0 on the year. And uh, another phenomenal performance by the Broncos. Definitely showed some growth off that, that close week one win over the Chargers and a full game performance for sure here. Obviously had some fourth quarter woes against LA. Uh, that definitely wasn't the case here. Dominated from start to finish. And to do it in the fashion that we did it, I thought was super impressive. To really kind of take the Cowboys' main strength away from them, not allow them to run the ball at all offensively, dominate that offensive line in the trenches, you know, and, and force them to be a one-dimensional offense, I thought was just brilliant to see. And I think we kind of reminded some people how good a team we are in this game. A lot of national media outlets um, and just media people in general and the football community and, and obviously a lot of football analysts weren't giving us a lot of credit going in this year. Obviously, a lot of people doubted our defense, that it was aging, said we had some obviously inexperience at some spots. Our offensive line, our quarterback, that all was questioned going in the year. I saw some, you know, people having us, you know, win only six to seven games this year. And I think we reminded people uh, why why those may have been foolish predictions. Obviously, there's a lot of football still to be played, but nonetheless, to start the year off two and zero, it, it's fantastic, and and it really can build some confidence for us, build some momentum for us. And we need to do we need to do this with the strength of our schedule because obviously any hiccup along the way with, with the, the toughness of our schedule could lead to, you know, the demise of our season. So and again to dominate a team like Dallas this is a team that won thirteen games last year. Granted, maybe they're a little worse this year, maybe they've been exposed, whatever you want to say. They're a quality team, they're a talented team, especially in terms of their offensive line. And to beat them in the fashion we did to dominate them and really take away their strength, take away, you know, what they, they really kind of impose their will on other teams and in running the ball, I, I think it, it was just a statement win, simply put. Defensively, um, I thought it was just such a dominant performance, again, in the fashion that we, we dominated Dallas in because you took away their run game and you dominated that offensive line, which is so talented. It's an all-star offensive line. I mean, you got Travis Frederick, you got Tyron Smith, you got Zach Martin, you got Lael Collins. I mean, that's a really good group. And to dominate them uh, up front, I mean, give a ton of credit to Domita Pecco, give a ton of credit to Derek Wolf, Adam Goetzis, um, just our entire defensive line interiorly and our, our front seven even, man. Give credit to Shaq Barrett. Give credit to Brandon Marshall. Give credit to, you know, Von, uh, Von Miller. I mean, I, I think our entire front seven just played phenomenal in this game. Um, and again, our interior defensive line, Pecco, Wolf. Gotsis, all those guys were great. And, and we shut down Zeke, man. To hold him to nine yards on eight carries, the worst game of his career, forced Dak to throw the ball 50 times. I mean, I would love to see Dallas' record when Dak has thrown the ball 50 times. I'm, I'm sure he's done that before in his career. Uh, not often, but I would love to see what their success rate is when he has to throw the ball that much. And, and we forced them to be one-dimensional. And then our coverage took over. I mean, we gave up some plays to Des Bryant, gave up a touchdown to him and Jason Witten. Um, you know, but for the most part, I mean, our coverage was great downfield. You force two interceptions, you get that pick from Chris Harris, uh, and, and then, it, of course, you get the cherry on top with a keep to leave in the red zone. Very predictable, kind of bad, bad decision um, by Dak Prescott. Predictable throw to throw it behind Des Bryant. A keep to Lee Reddit and took it to the house. Made a great adjustment uh, to, to to return it. You went up the field, uh, went up field right uh, because Dak was trying to cut him off and and just kind of showed that swag that we still have defensively, that confidence we still have defensively. Again, people slept on this defense and and still didn't believe we were elite. And I think we showed why we still are uh, in this game. Just an overall down performance defensively. Um, again, gave up some plays to Jason Witten, and I think the tight end position, some teams can expose them, uh, can, can expose our defense in the middle of the field if they have an elite pass catcher at that position. Jason Witten had a good game against us, but all in all, I mean, dominated this team uh, at pretty much every level from a defensive standpoint, kind of really shut them down offensively, forced two turnovers uh, from Dak, shut down Zeke. I mean, we really frustrated him uh, in, in this game, definitely took him out of the game pretty much. He was a non-factor, and again, you just got to give so much kudos and respect to that that defensive line. Again, whether it be Derek Wolf, Adam Goetzis, uh, Shelby Harris, um, you know, D Domita Pecco. I mean, the, all those guys up front just did a great job really dominating the Cowboys' offensive line in the trenches. And then on the flip side, offensively, Trevor Simeon continues to prove people wrong. Again, I got so much confidence in Trevor. His confidence looks like it's growing every week. Four touchdowns in this game, had an interception. Uh, but I thought, you know, the, the two throws to Sanders, one on the run was nice. He had that one uh, other touchdown to Sanders over 
like two or three defensive backs in tight coverage. I mean, it was just a great game for him, making some plays on the run as well, showing off his mobility once again, uh, you know, and, and, and really just showing why you got to stop down and making plays. But really, I thought offensively where we dominated this game and what I was impressed by is once again the offensive line and the run block and give those guys credit uh, up front Matt Paradis Ronald Leary Garrett Bowles uh, Menelik Watson those guys did a great job in this game of, of blocking up front and did a great job did a great job of of really uh, allowing CJ some gaps to work with some some room to work with and CJ had a day man had over a hundred yards uh, I believe had a t I believe had a touchdown or two in this game um, and, and was phenomenal. And, and it all started with that offensive line. Again, two weeks in a row, you've really done well in the run blocking, showed a, a vast improvement there on both sides of the football, but, but, but especially on the offensive line. But I will say our offensive line still kind of concerns, concerns me in terms of the pass protection. You got Demarcus Lawrence, who goes for two sacks against us, uh, men like Watson. I thought Donald Stevenson was out there on a couple of the pass protection plays, and, and Trevor took some shots. You got to gotta keep him upright more and not allow him – uh, to, to take so many clean shots. And again, it starts on the edges really with Bulls and Menelik Watson. Bulls went down this game with the leg injury. I think he's okay for the most part. Nothing serious, but a little scary moment there. But nonetheless, you know, just great performance. DT and Emmanuel making plays on the outside. Again, some beautiful throws from Trevor throughout. Had the pick, but still four TDs. Uh, just just beautiful, beautiful performance by the offense. But I like what I see from the Broncos. And, and uh, now we move on to play Buffalo at Buffalo in week three. You know, Buffalo, I, I love what Trevor Simeon says. Buffalo doesn't care that we're two and zero. You know, and it's it's going to be a tough game. Buffalo historically is a very tough place to play in. It's a tough place to win in. They got a great, great fan base, loyal fan base who's very loud. Um, and look, this is still a very good defensive team. Got a good defensive line. Um, you know, and, and and offensively, they can really run the ball, man. We, you know, they got LaShawn McCoy and Mike Tolbert. They got Tyrod Taylor, who is going to, you know, pose more of a threat in terms of running uh, and making plays with his legs than, than either quarterback we faced in the first two games. I know Dak Prescott's mobile, but I don't think he runs it nearly as much as Tyrod Taylor. Um, so this is a test for us, man. They got a great tight end, too, in Charles Clay, who, who is someone we definitely need to, to key in on. Brandon Marshall and, and our safeties, Justin Simmons, Darian Stewart, got to do a good job against him in coverage, maybe even throw Bradley Roby on him every now and then. And, you know, this could easily be a trap game. It's a tough place to play in on the road, first game on the road against a team that's 1-1 one and, one and, and really had some, some battles uh, against the, the Jets and, and – the, the Panthers and, and their defense really show, man, they, they're going to grind you out. And, again, they can really run the ball. Got LaShawn McCoy, got a good tight end in Charles Clay. Tyra Taylor is one of the most underrated players, I think, in the NFL. And a good defense with a very, very tough defensive line. So it's, it's going to be a fun game. I think it's going to be a chippy game, physical game, tough game, close game. Um, and, and hopefully it's one we can win, but easily could be a trap game. So don't don't sleep on the Bills this week uh, against us, and, and don't doubt them, man, because I, I think it's a tough challenge for us. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave me a comment below. What did you think of the game against the Cowboys? What were you most impressed by? And what would you like to see the Broncos improve on going into this week against the Bills? If you like what you've heard, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it, and go Broncos in Week 3. Peace.